How are you, Miss Rebecca? I'm very well. How are you? I am wonderfully blessed as always. Oh, Thank you so much. Good. Yeah, and so are you for starring in the film. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, how did you get attracted to making the movie? Well, I, I got sent the script, and I think it might be the first script I've read in ages where I probably got about 10, 15 pages in and thought it was brilliant. And then by page 30, thought, I want to call up my agent and say I want to do it. I mean, it's so powerful and strong and riveting story and very, 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 very relevant to the times we're living in now. Right. Yeah. Especially after 9-11 or 7-7, right, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. London. In yeah. the UK. Um, how did you prepare? Well, I, uh, John Crowley, the director, had the very smart idea to get us, me and Eric, together, I think about three months before we started shooting. And we spent a week with uh, lawyers and wow. a barrister called Tim Owen QC, who's a human rights lawyer in London, whose idea the film initially came from. Um, and he allowed us full access to the, his chambers and to courtrooms, and we shadowed him, and I spent a lot of time watching court cases and hanging out with lawyers and just immersing myself in the world, really. What did you learn the most, hanging out with him? Uh, I learned that they're, they're, they're um, that I suppose I learned that it is a very, very specific world that has much more eccentricity and huh. than you could imagine. Like the, I think any world is quite closed off, and any sort of work environment, the sort right. of co-workers have a, a language and right. all that sort of stuff. But the the language of lawyers in London is is very specific. I mean, they have they have a shop that they go to to buy their clothes from. Uh, they have the kind of notepaper that they use. They go to a pub that they all go and drink in. They you know they train. They eat lunch in the same place. They sort of it's very very specific. Wow, that's interesting. Mm. And they all I love their drag. Yeah. <laughs> I love those wigs, <laughs> right? Because yeah, they once they put that on, it's like, <laughs> boom, right? It's magic. Yeah, it's powerful, right? Yeah. yeah. I think that's the point of it. I think there's something, you know, there's a sort of logic there with it looking a little bit weird and silly. That, that's Comical bit, almost, right? Yeah, but it's meant to, that plus being very serious is meant to be a bit unnerving. And I think it works. Actually. Eric was telling me that it's, it's so, um, they all blend in. Yeah, so well, you're, so you're the like... legal team are all one, so they represent the law, and everyone else who's not wearing the wig represents, you know, the civilians Aww. or the people being tried, but so the law looks like something. Aww. I Congratulations again. I love your scene, especially the courtroom scene with the big reveal. Oh, it's good. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, Go, fun. girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs>